This ministry is a great opportunity to uh, help individuals that are in pretty bad situations. When people come in, we meet them, we greet them, we try to understand what their needs are, we take prayer requests, they're, you know, they're looking f for food, help, sympathy. So the High Point Youth Ministry is tag teaming in many ways with uh, the food pantry and what they're doing. North Texas Christian Academy is also involved in the food pantry. Once a week during chapel, each child brings uh, a canned good. They have been helping with sorting foods and get bagging up foods for them to pass out during the week. Uh, the kids went out and made a list of different items we needed in the food pantry. And they took their list around and collected food from all their neighbors. And we had over 400 items collected that one night. Makes me feel really good. Makes me feel like I'm helping. We prayed over the bags after we assembled them and asked the children to bless those bags that were going out and they were able to then see that there is a bigger picture that we're part of. Not only do we give um, the food away each week and help the families um, as we can with food, they have learned to come to us for prayer. Jose came in a couple of weeks ago and was in tears and we prayed together. He had a friend who um, had recently been killed he was able to take the focus off of himself and his injuries and ask for prayer for other people. And we were so glad to pray with him and comfort him during that period of time. Maria, she came in and just collapsed in my arms and told me about her son. So we were able to pray together. I think that gave her some peace. Mary Ann came in sobbing and I immediately noticed she had a black eye. She had been the victim of an abusive situation. I noticed when she left, she was looking all around to make sure he wasn't in the parking lot. So I offered to walk her to her car and on the way to her car, she just broke out into a run and ran to her car as quickly as she could. The last time I saw her, it came in with a, a spring in her step. And I said, Mary Ann, I can tell the difference in you. And she said, it's the prayer, Linda. It's the prayer. And I think a lot of the people um, who really don't even need the help with the groceries anymore still come back periodically just to ask for prayers. And they have seen prayer work you know, for them in their lives. Um, they come to us and openly request prayer. I love that part of the ministry because that's how you really get to know the people and their hearts. Christ also sets the standard of what it means to clothe those who do not have any clothes, to, to feed those who are hungry. Uh, and, and when we start to do those acts of service uh, in obedience to Christ, uh, our lives are transformed. There was a uh, family that i am kind of gotten to know uh, that has been looking for work and has been coming in on a regular basis. And so uh, because I'm in a similar situation looking for work, we have uh, kind of built a relationship and uh, due to my searches and his searches, we've kind of been able to work together to kind of give different leads for one another to uh, help each other through the difficult times. Coming in and helping and seeing what other people's situations are really put us into perspective. The more they get involved with church, I think they're going to understand that there are such benefits that, you know, God is great and uh, anything's possible. Our greatest need at present um, is for someone to pick up the food. We also need people who um, are willing to meet with the people, give the groceries away, visit with them. Not only ask, would like to have Bible studies, but to actually follow up with them, contact them, get a phone number, set up a time um, when they can study. And we need people who will lead those Bible studies. I enjoy doing it and it is, it's fun. And you get to meet so many families and friends and you be a part of their lives as they grow as Christians. And uh, at the same time, you build good relationships uh, with families, friends, and their kids as you grow.